Vicky said you wanted to speak to me privately. Yes. Thanks for closing the door behind you. I am going to take a shower anyway, but I just didn't want your father to overhear us. This is about him. I got the impression from him that he, like others among your relatives, are bigoted against white people like me and Debbie. He seemed disappointed in Debbie being white. And I still remember when I first met Scott and I called him my cousin and he said I wasn't his cousin at all. That hurt me. It's a natural reaction. Just don't take it personally. Your grandfather just needs to get used to us. At my wedding to Jessica, I was surrounded by white people and I was the only black person there. I was so tempted to run away in fear. But when I looked into Jessica's eyes, I saw only the most beautiful love I had ever experienced. And my fear faded away. I felt more human with her than I did with my blood relatives after I came out as lesbian. So how should I address you? As grandfather? As Mr. Gordon? Or something else? Thank you for asking. And I really don't care how I am addressed as long as I am treated with respect. Were you raised a Jehovah's Witness? I was raised Catholic. And like Lucy I was rejected by my family when I said I didn't believe in the Catholic teachings. No. Like many others I was converted as a youth by these traveling teachers going door to door to spread their cult. My mother became a witness and I eagerly followed her. But as an adult I figured out that the teachings were lies. The cult leaders predicted Christ would return in 1914. He didn't. Then they said the Battle of Armageddon would happen in 1975. That was also false. Moses said when a prophet speaks in God's name and the prophecy does not come true, then God was not speaking through that prophet. Based on that, I left the cult. Instead, I became Jewish. I go to a synagogue in Nashville for worship every Saturday. So you believe in the Jewish God? Most of us don't. Mother Lucy said after she left the cult she went all the way to atheism because no religion seemed to fit her until she finally found Unitarian Universalism. Most of us are now UUs. I myself am studying to be a UU minister. So you are an atheist who wants to be a minister? How can that make sense? I want to help people, regardless of their beliefs, or lack thereof. You don't need to believe in a God to love your fellow human beings. And I became a UU because of Vicky and her family. They are incredibly beautiful people and I love them all. Before I met Vicky, I felt like I couldn't relate to anyone. But she showed me what love can do to a fearful and broken heart. She made me a better person. I understand. The Jewish community I joined also made me a better person than being a witness did. We can cut your birthday cake into 10 pieces, one for each person that is here, plus Debbie, in case she returns soon and wants a piece. You should ask your father if he wants a piece first. He may not like yellow cake. Okay. Did I mention that Helen is allergic to cats? Tara would come home from working at the cat shelter and Helen would start sneezing up a storm when Tara would pick her up afterwards. We were so disappointed by that discovery. But finally for our daughter's health we sold the cat shelter. I just hope the new owner is as dedicated to the welfare of cats as our mother was. So what are you doing now? For now, Tara is a housewife. I make plenty of money as a banker so I won't push her to get a job anytime soon. Her focus is totally on Helen. She is a great mother. Meanwhile, Kyrie left her cell phone in the Sims living room. It rings and Vicky answers it. Hello, Vicky Sims here. This is Debbie. I was wanting to talk with Carrie. Is she around? Not at the moment. She went to the bathroom to take a shower. Should I give her a message? No. But I am coming home soon and I want to talk to Carrie about something. Oh, would you like a piece of Jessica and Jonathan's birthday cake? Sure. That would be a welcome treat after what I've been through.